How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in this video I'll be doing a reaction to Aretha Franklin's I Say a Little Prayer. So I know that I, the last video I did was Dionne Warwick's Say a Little Prayer but I kind of wanted to hear uh, what Aretha Franklin was because she's the queen of soul type thing, you know? Um, I don't think I've really done, I don't think I've done any Aretha Franklin so uh, take my opinion with a grain of salt. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, um, beautiful song. I really like it. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. I feel like I like um, the Dion Warwick song or version better. Um, and obviously, this is based off hearing it once. But a few things. Uh, number one, I feel like this one has significantly more soul, much more emotion to it. Um, and I could see how someone would really like that portion of it. It's it, it's filled with a lot more soul, definitely. Uh, number two, um, you know, it's interesting how she, in the song, she's, uh, when she sings, there's like an echo effect, right? Before I put on my makeup and then like, you know, whatever. Uh, the background chorus, they kind of echo like the other half of the sentence. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. 
I don't know. It's definitely different though. Number three, um, you know, obviously the lyrics themselves are the same and the song is the same, but I don't know. Part of me feels like these are two, I mean, obviously they're different people who are performing the song, but they feel very, very different to me, in my opinion, when I hear these two songs um, um, differently. It is my thoughts on it. So let's go to Wikipedia here real quick. Um, all right, so I've already talked about the Dionne Warwick version. So the Aretha Franklin version uh, returned to the pop and R&B top 10 in the fall of 1968. Uh, so Dionne Warwick's version came out in 67 and this one's 68. Um, taken from her 1968 album, Aretha Now. Um, there are several harmonic differences between the Warwick and Franklin versions. Oh, I guess this will all make sense. Whilst the Warwick or original originally was sung in G major, Franklin's transposes up a tone to A major. That's not a big deal. Uh, the chord chord under Say a Little Prayer for You in the bridge is substantially different uh, than the original in Franklin's version. The third inversion, seventh in the bass under an ever in the chorus from the original D major C sharp is a more conventional chord E major in Franklin's arrangement. Okay, I'd have to hiss, I'd have to, I'd have to listen to that closer, um, but definitely it feels like different songs. So let's take, let's do some parts. Okay, so let's start just in the beginning here. So very different beginning here. Uh, and then the, this echo effect starts right off the get-go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. Anyways, next. Okay, so this is the chorus right here, okay? It's much more frantic. I feel like there's a lot more things going on here, you know? Ooh, I, I like this. I like that part, how it kind of like, kind of leans into the beginning of the next verse. I, I really like that for some reason. Anyways, next. Okay, so I, this is the second time I believe we're going through the chorus here. Uh, yeah, just listen. Just so many more things are just thrown in there, you know, is how I feel. Ooh, ooh, that was good. And then they repeat the, the chorus here. I like that. that, that, that caught me off guard. So in my mind's eye, that that uh, I don't even know if it's a triplet or a dotted sixteenth note, but it should be like dun 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 dun, and there should be like hi hat or something like that. Is how I feel. Next, okay. So on this part over here, it uh, just it has like a nice little pullback. Okay, so. I like that. I like that. Oh! All right, next. Okay, so we're just gonna take it from here to the end, okay? So that ending kind of caught me off guard as well. Next. Okay. Um, you know, upon first review here, I believe I like the Dionne Warwick version better. That being said, I do like Dionne Warwick, so just keep that in mind. This version, though, it has a lot of soul to it. Uh, I feel like uh, they just added a lot of flavor into this version itself. Um, I didn't even look at who arranged it or anything like that, but th that's just kind of how I felt with this one. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video, okay?